Well, we've been pretty successful at that. By the way, we're talking about two downtowns, both Detroit and Madison. And we just made a big investment on Madison, repaved it, needed it. Our experience is that public investments often are incentive for private investments to follow. And we've got plenty of evidence of that happening in Lakewood. The fact is, in terms of business creation, you're, you're not going to bring in a large business to Lakewood. We're talking about building at one employee at a time. And we've created over 100 different businesses and or businesses that have invested in their future in the last five years. And we do that through entrepreneurial support of Startup Lakewood. We do it through storefront support to help folks, uh, in fact, improve their physical uh, attractiveness on a retail side. Uh, we, we're doing it through building an ultra-high-speed broadband down Madison and Detroit. that will be 10 gig speed, almost 100 times faster than is commercially available today. And those are tools that will allow folks to feel comfortable to come and invest. We've had good success there. It's about nurturing our space, our landlords, and making sure that uh, we, uh, their employees want to come and work here. The good news is businesses with millennials today, these young 20 and 30-somethings, they want to be in Lakewood. They want to work there. They want to live there. And they like, in fact, not being out in a, uh, an office building in, in a suburban uh, office park. They like to be in the vibrancy of a, a semi-urban area, and we, we, we need to continue to leverage that. And I expect us to be able to do that. I think I think there's a real focus that you can try to bring in a, a major tenant. Uh, we have City Center North uh, uh, that uh, has a considerable amount of, of vacancy. I think with a hospital, uh, if you have the right strategy and right economic development, you can start spurring other medical uh, 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 businesses uh, out of your community. That's something that uh, we have not done as a community uh, in the past. There was an effort to do it, uh, but in uh, uh, the last decade and a half or so, it has not uh, gone uh, uh, far at all. Um, uh, I believe that, uh, again, you need a strong storefront programs. There's a lot of vacancies. A lot of things that the mayor's brought forward, basic restaurants which uh, have low paying jobs, is not the answer for the economic uh, vitality uh, of Lakewood, particularly with the loss of good paying jobs, 1,400 that the mayor proposes uh, with the closure of Lakewood Hospital. And again, when you close Lakewood Hospital, how are the, um, the places that serve the lunches and the, the dinners to the employees and, and other folks uh, that utilize the hospital, where are they going to get the business? They're not. Uh, where are the incomes going to come for the low income workers at the hospital, the, the ones that uh, scrub the floors and, and change the beds? Uh, they're going to lose their jobs and they, they don't have the ability to go out to Avon. They don't have the ability to go to main campus on the east side of Cleveland. By the way, the owner of Aladdin's is very excited about the redevelopment plans. He's right across the street from the hospital. He serves food. Disproportionately, their customers don't come from the hospital. Uh, the, an outpatient delivery service will bring a factor of two times the number of people to that, to, to that corner. Uh, from 50, 26,000 a year to roughly 52,000 visits are expected. And those folks are not going to be sick and lying in a bed. They're actually coming there for routine care, more inclined to stay and spend money in that area. And uh, the, so I think you're looking at a, an opportunity to have more economic leverage. And let's not forget that the redevelopment of the 5.7 acres of the current hospital site, preserving, on my hope, uh, the old 1917 building and the Curtis Block as part of that redevelopment creates an enormous economic opportunity as well. But certainly don't forget that the real economic engine of Lakewood is the house and the household. That is the driver.